Hi, Hi folks. folks! Thanks for joining us on this video. If you're new here, I'm Willie. And I'm Sarah. We're a musician and artist who escaped suburbia and now live in a nearly 200 year old cottage on the Isle of Skye in the Scottish Highlands with our dogs, Jack Spaniels, and the newest member of our clan, Puppy Nori. This week, we feel like life is beginning to return to normal, or as normal as it gets on living the sky life, since the arrival of Hurricane I Nori. With the wintry weather set to get even worse, I braved sub zero temperature to get some work done on the Land Rover Defender before it was just too late. And the creativity gets flowing again as we are visited by a professional photographer and I show you my process of painting Skylife Cottage. Plus, find out how Nori copes with his first taste of the outside world, both on a woodland walk and in Jack Spaniel's favourite place, the beach. Join, Join us, us as we continue. continue. Live in the sky life. Today is the day that Nori gets released on the real world. Yep, first time he's been out. A pair of them are going crazy at my feet right now, <laughs> as you can hear. It's been two weeks since his final vaccination, so he is ready to be unleashed. Well, Leased. not not literally. He's still going to be on a lead, but he's going to go explore the woods with Jack. Exciting. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's him in the landy. Are we going in the car? Do you want to go in the car? I don't know if you want to go in the car, but you're going in the car. Ah, oh, I've got you. <laughs> I've got him, folks. I've got the little monster. <laughs> in the car. In the car. In you go, pal. It's only for a few minutes. Jack's going to take some general encouragement. <laughs> Good boys. Are you ready to go walkies, Jack? By any chance? Are you ready to go walkies, Nori? He doesn't know what walkies is yet. It's just started raining, which is excellent timing. Well, it hasn't done all day, great. But I don't think it's gonna last very long. We've done a bit of lead training, so we're hoping this is gonna go okay, but we'll find out. We're ready. What do you think, Jack? So it begins. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Let's go. Boy. Good boy. Good Come boy, on, Nari. Clever doggy. Good boy, Nari. He knows how to do it. Good He's a boy, clever Nari. Boy. Come on, Nari. Good boy. Let's go. Good boy. Drink of the puddles. Yeah. You take after your brother, buddy. It's been dry all day, and of course, we come out at the time that it starts raining. It's not forecast, of course, but that's sky for you. You never know what's going to happen. But we've got warp with jackets on, everything is fine. And it's not too heavy, it's nice and light. And that's why there's a rainbow, actually, which is lovely. Um, and I think it's going to calm down a bit as well. It looks like it's already stopping. It is actually really quite beautiful just now. But so much for it just passing over. It is blue sky overhead, so I don't actually know where this rain is coming from. Magic. That's another toy. Nori, leave. Leave. Good boy. Come on, Nori. 
Well, Nori has been amazing. We've been training him with treats on a lead and we didn't bring any today just to make sure that he would do it without actually getting some kind of treat for it. And uh, it was great, so I'm glad we decided not to bring them. Lots of praise though. Lots of praise, lots of encouragement. But now we're about seven minutes into the walk and Nori can only really walk for about 15 minutes in total at this age. Five minutes for every month that they are old. There you go. So I'm going to take Nori back shortly and then Sarah's going to carry on the walk with Jack and uh, we'll all reconvene back at Skylife Cottage later. Sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Hope you've enjoyed seeing Nori's first ever walk. Right, we'll see you back at Skylife Cottage. Have fun, guys. You too. Be a good boy, Jack. Come on. Be good, Nori. I never knew his voice could go that high. Hey, pups. Time for us to go on alone. Come on, let's go. Should have brought my sunglasses. Didn't think I'd need them today. We have seen so little of the sun recently. It's been so rainy and gray that it took me by surprise. <laughs> it probably won't be a problem for long though. Nori, Nori, Mummy and Jack will come back later. You just can't go that far. She's coming home later, I promise. I promise. Come on, baby. This way, pups. Come on. Good boy. Her first walk was a success. Well done, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Walked on a lead, no problem whatsoever. Clever dog. Clever dog. <laughs> He's nearly home with Nori. We're not nearly home, are we Jack? We've still got lots more walking to do. We've got a very special guest coming to Skylife Cottage this evening, Andrew Tobin, who's an author. He's writing a book, Sky at Night, about the people that work on sky from the sun setting until the sun rising. And we do a lot of work at night here at Skylife Cottage. Proceeds from the book are going to go to the Sky Mountain Rescue, so we are definitely on board with that. And uh, he'll be here any minute, so sorry if that was a bit of a rushed introduction. <laughs> this is Andy, he's the author of Sky at Night. If you work on sky at night, uh, go to skyatnight.com let me know and I'll come see you as well. Get in the book. Sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Let's crack on. The first thing we need to do, we need to get the balance, the light balance right. Okay. So we sort of have the ambient exposure from that light and then we have some in with that one there. So we're going to actually bounce the light off the ceiling. Shabby Road Studios. Yes. Mark five or six or whatever it is now. So once you get the lighting right, we just bang, 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 and we'll go through it all cool. nice and quick. You don't have to do anything at the moment other than just sit there and look intelligent. I can't do the impossible. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sometimes I can get away with on camera, but... Can you kind of look this way a little bit, so yeah. you get the light from over there. We're not on the lens. Uh, like. Not on the lens, so probably eye line just up to there. Can you bring the chair forward? Yeah. Will that work? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's too much chaos. No, that's cool. I've got to say, piece to camera, the work the guys have done in here. 
is epic. Well, thank you very and much. You've done it all yourselves. It's not all of it. No, we did have help from friends. You did, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but warm and cosy, considering it's like minus three outside or something. So what I'm trying to do is just frame me around these symbols and stuff. So. Things a little bit. Well, you know what? Is? I was I was sort of thinking to myself, should I do drums or should I do guitar? And you've just done both. Yeah. Nice. Magic. Looking good. I might just try a different composition from a different direction. It was really hard not looking at the guitar. It wasn't. Because the instinct is always just to look at the guitar yeah. again, just to see yeah. it's still there. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice, it's got your bottles, it's got the guitars, it's got the drums. Cool. I think that'll do this for this bit. Wicked. Nicely done. Thank you. I think that'll look very good. Cool. All right. Yeah. Wait, I'm so, going to go and see the dogs. So yeah. if you need me, just come and knock on the window or whatever. What I want to do is feature the art close up. Yeah. And then we'll have a picture of you packing uh, as well. That should all be all right. We'll always do a horizontal and a vertical. We're the same because yeah. we do YouTube, but we also do Instagram. Ah, yeah. So, so I, had to, I had to teach Willie that. We'll always do a horizontal. Have you done a sideways one? Okay, do up and down the ways now. Yeah. <laughs> Nice, that'll do for that. So let's awesome. do step two. So if you stand where you normally stand, <clears throat> I'm just going to experiment a bit to see what we get to start off with. Okay, so I'm just going to fiddle around and get the flash okay. uh, correct. Yeah, this is like an action shot. <laughs> uh, so just put them down again and then pick them up. <laughs> 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 it's an action shot. Um, so it's so it, active. It's, it, yeah, it's trying to make it look like you're not just standing there looking yeah. at it, anyway, um, which is always actually very difficult to do. Uh, but let's let's try it again anyway. Okay. Okay. Uh, on three. <laughs> One, two, okay. three. And just as a, an idea, how about you hold it up to me like that? Okay. That's it. Yeah. I, I like that a lot. I think we're done. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Excellent. You might be able to get both of us if you get Willie at his desk coming through the window. Andy very kindly took the photo that Sarah suggested and we think it came out very well. He also took one of us outside the cottage featuring both the dogs which is something of a miracle and also the first professional photo of all four of us. How did that go for you, Andy? Uh, very patient subjects, very, very tolerant of uh, the various mechanics of taking photographs. Right. Uh, but yeah, really good actually. I wanted to get both aspects, the, the musical aspect and the artistic aspect of it, um, mm. and also the context of the house and the cottage and the buyer and everything else. So I think uh, I think we got that. So I'm after three three pictures at the end of this. Um, if I can get my finger out, I'll get a minute to cookie and send them over so you can put them in. Amazing, that'd be great, thank you. It's a beautiful morning on Sky, as you can see. And I've got to do the second step of the Lana Garden today. Actually, it's about a week late, but we don't worry about these things. But the problem is the padlock on the shed is frozen solid. I can't actually use it at all, it's solid. I tried to get the de-icer out of the Land Rover, but its lock is frozen solid too. So I'm going to have to use a jug of hot water to melt the padlock to get into the shed to get the stuff out to do the Lana Garden. <sighs> the joys of living in the Hebrides. 
<laughs> Another thing that might slow me down a little bit today is this. We have a new puppy now who has got my glove. We had Jack the last time, which was fine, because I just put him in the house and that was fine. But the little puppy, he insists on being involved in everything, including ruining my gloves. Yeah, great. Oh, dearie me. Give me that glove, you little menace. Nori, give me that glove. Nori, give me that glove. Come here. Nori, wait, wait, wait. Nori, give me the glove, dude. Nori, I need to do the Lana guarding. <sighs> Okay, I put the Lana guard in a bucket of hot water so it's had a chance to really melt now whilst I see the dog for a walk. Sarah's now looking after the wee one whilst I get on with the Lana guarding. I jet washed the car three days ago so it's been sitting on the drive and the water's all had a chance to dry off. As you can see, it doesn't look much different to how it did when I did it and that's after we took it to Newcastle and back and after we drove it on a beach. It still looks pretty good. Most of the grease is still there as well. That's impressive. Under here as well, it's still got that waxy finish. But this is a two-step process so well, let's get covered in Lanagard. It's so cold I'm trying to move the Land Rover forwards and I can't because I can't get in that door. It's completely frozen solid. I literally can't open the door. So I've had to climb in this side which has now got the sun as the sun's come up over the hill. The inside of the windscreen is frozen. The outside obviously as well. I just scraped a little bit away in the middle so I could drive the car forward slightly to make it easier to access so I can get underneath this side as well. But my god it's so cold. It's ridiculous. And hopefully this will show that you can actually use this stuff all year round. We'll see. Right then, wish me luck, here goes. I'm sure this is a very flattering look for me. Sarah did this the last time and she said top tip don't spray it right up the way because it just goes in your face and I don't want to smell like a sheep so I'm not going to do that. The ground is so cold! Well, it's fair to say that I'm pretty comprehensively covered in Lanagard now. It's all over me and I'm going to have to have a shower. But the good news is that I'm covered in Lanagard, but not as much as the Land Rover is. It's completely covered under there. And one thing I will say as well is none of it was exposed from the last time. It was all completely the same as I left it. None of it had come off. And that was five weeks ago in the winter on the Isle of Skye. That's pretty impressive. Last thing I've got to do before I have a shower is get the little magic wand that goes on the end of the squishy and that just goes in all the little holes and nooks and crannies and you can spray the stuff in there as well so I'm going to do that now. Just going to get in all these little holes and give it a bit more just to make sure. There you go. As you can see, I've completely gone to town. With it being so cold, it hasn't gone on completely black, just because the car is so cold, I think. Because when I was spraying on, it was coming out clear. As soon as it hit the car, it was going that colour. But it didn't make any difference to putting it on or anything. And I'm sure it will go black as well over time. And waxy, which is what I did the last time. So, chuffed with that, that looks good to me. Let me know what you think. <sighs> right. Time for a shower, I reckon. Sorry about the hat line, I got this. Uh, if you wanted this back, then uh, you're going to have to give it a right good wash. <laughs> Nori's obsessed with the Lana Guard stinky clothes because they smell like sheep. So he thinks it's fun to bite it. Ape ups. This is Nori's first time at the beach. <laughs> and if you're going to go on a beach for the first time, how about that one? Not too bad, eh? <laughs> wow, this is a big experience for you, isn't it? This is the beach just outside our house and we can walk to this beach in about 30 seconds. So uh, it's the perfect place to walk the dogs, of course. We were slightly worried that Nori was going to be afraid of the water, which was nonsense <laughs> because he loves it because he's a spaniel and they're water dogs. You eating seaweed? I wouldn't suggest that. Eh, yeah, but you'll find out the hard way, just like Jack did. Oh, what was that? It was your big brother's big loud voice. And of course, it started raining. Of course it started raining, that's what it does on Sky. The same rules apply, he's only got 15 minutes here. Look at that dog go! Just listen to these feet when he walks, it's adorable. Like blip, 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 blip. Go on then. 
That may be my new favourite thing, Nori. Oh, and now he hears the other dogs in the glen. The Croft dogs. Filthy already. That noise is amazing, isn't it? You're a little bit uh, heavy footed, Nori. Well, yeah, there is a bit of that going ah! on. Oh, no. I'm going to be rather wet, I can tell by the end of this. Yes, that's what puppies do. Mm. If you're going to go on a dog walk for the first time, off the lead, I can't think of very many places I would rather be if I was a puppy, because it's stunning here. Very peaceful. So the water to the right, that's the sea. That's the sea loch. And the water to the left, that's the river, which is fresh water. So he's not been in fresh water yet. So let's try them in the river, eh? Nori, come here. Come on. Oh, it's quite deep that water, isn't it? He's not sure. Oh, the allure of uh, treats. Well, we're back from the walk and Nori was all wet, of course, because he was in the water. Weren't you pups? And you enjoyed it, didn't you? A lot. A towel dried him and I've got him in his fleecy blanket. I want to say those fleecy blankets because he's just a little bit shivery. He's not used to this, you know. He's not got much body fat either. So, you're a little bit shivery, buddy. Oh, baby. So, I'll warm him up. He's got my body heat and he's got his blanket. But he's going to have to get used to this because this is where he lives. And it's not a very cold day at all, actually. It's pretty warm. Um, I was sweating when I got back in. But he's a new puppy, so I dried him with a towel. And I've got him in his blankie. And I'll just keep him nice and warm now. And just keep him on me to get my body heat. He's been licking my chin, which makes a change from him biting my chin or lunging at my nose. I think he knows that I'm doing him a little favour here by keeping him warm, which is so cute. It's just heart melting stuff. This is like amazing. He's um, three months old, absolutely gorgeous little puppy. And he's just had a great time. And this is just hopefully a sign of the future for us. Bless. <laughs> If you've watched the music video for Willie's single, These Old Walls, you will know that at the end of last year, I painted our cottage and stone out building, using some artistic license to show how they might have looked around a hundred years ago. I made some changes to the buildings and added a few tiny details to give it character and a sense of being lived in. Some elements of the current cottage I kept the same, such as the white pebble dash walls and the slate roof that we have now, as I wanted it to still be recognisable as Skylife Cottage.
We have two different types of chimney pots on our cottage, one old and one new. I changed the newer one for the older style, so they both match. When it came to doing the windows, I changed the current UPVC ones to what I imagine the original wooden frames would have looked like, inspired by other similar cottages on the island. I kept the red wooden door of the buyer that was there when we moved in. While this wasn't original to the cottage, it's how we remember the buyer looking before we started renovating it. The tiny antique ginger beer bottle on the windowsill is easily overlooked, but we love knowing that detail is there. We like to think of the person using the bill hook that we also found in the buyer to tame the grass around the cottage and perhaps taking a break to sip a cold ginger beer. While we were emptying out the buyer last year, Willie came across some old corrugated metal, painted in dark green. We realised it must have been the buyer roof before being replaced by more modern black sheets. So Willie asked me to put the green roof back on in the painting. Willie built this log store last year, but it seemed like such an important detail for the cottage to have a log store like that, so I kept it in, as a nod to the work that we've done on the cottage since we moved in. I was a bit worried about adding in the chimney smoke, as I didn't know how it was going to look on the page. But I'm so glad I did, as it really brings the cottage to life. We love how this painting is a mashup of the old and the new, inspired by the original buildings, as well as the many changes they've undergone throughout their existence. These old walls so hundred lives from the days of old to these days of yours and mine, long after we. As usual folks, thank you so much for watching our video, we really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please do leave us a like, a comment or subscribe to our channel if you don't already. It's free to do and it really helps us out. If you did enjoy the video and you'd like to support us further, you could buy us a coffee or the wee boys a treat. Not coffee for them. Don't give our dogs coffee. No. Okay.
can only imagine the chaos. Did it just bite? <laughs> Or if you want to help support our channel more long term, you can become one of our amazing patrons over on Patreon, where you get lots of extra content for helping us out each month. I have said this before, but it is true. Without the support of our patrons and our Kofi supporters, we just couldn't make these videos, so thanks. If you'd like to buy a print of Skylife Cottage or any other of my paintings, you can do that over on my Etsy store. If you want to buy a copy of These Old Walls, you can do that over on Bandcamp. All the links to our pages are in the video description. Be below. Oh. Oh yeah, and if you want to use Lanagard yourself, you can pick it up with our discount code also in the video description below. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you ba -ba -da 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 -da. Pop next the week. ears next week. We're leaving our suburban life, moving over the sea to sky. Are we chasing a dream? I guess in time we will see when we're living the sky life. Living the sky life. Is this going to even work? <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Mickey. Oh, good. Oh. <laughs> right to the face. Can you not go get the camera for me, Jack? Go on, go get the camera. Go get it. Fetch. Fetch. Oh. This is Andy, the author, and he's come to Skylife Cottage and he's going to be doing a little interview and taking some photographs and I can't stand like this. <laughs> <laughs> My boob is sliding. <laughs> Rolling that, that's going to end up in the, in the bloody <laughs> bloopers. No, we need to have a talk about your professionalism on camera. <laughs> What's your brother doing? Here he is. This is Nori's first time at the beach. This is Andy, the author of the book, the, is it Sky at Night or this Sky, Sky at Night? Night? Sky at Night, okay. Hey, hey, hey. This is why our blooper reel is so long. Yeah. <laughs> if you want to buy one of my prints of Skylife Cottage or any of my other work. I'm sure oh, I'm right, Skylar okay. Cottage. <laughs> I'm I, I genuinely Illustrating. thought you were going to sneeze or something. Are you a pal? <laughs> you can do so over on Etsy. Where's he going? No idea. What's he doing? What are you doing? Don't know, don't know. Get a puppy, they said. It'll be fun. Click here to subscribe to Live in the Sky Life. Click here to go back to the start of our adventures with our very first episode.